Today on Catherine Learn Stuff, we're going to learn how to make a paper vase for Mother's Day. Today we're going to learn how to use the flower pot SVG file that I created. We're quickly going to select upload and then browse and select the flower pot file. Don't worry about the unsupported SVG message as it's just suggesting that the text file isn't supported, but it actually is. Once you're ready, you can label your file. I've called mine flower pot. Once you've done that, hit save. Now the file is in design space. So what we need to do is up, open the image and it'll come onto our can. You will notice the file is very small, so quickly grab the corner so that you can expand it. You will want to make sure that your size lock is on so that the file stays symmetric. I'm going to quickly ungroup the file to see what size each flower pot is, as I'm shooting for them to be within 6 to 7 inches each. Once I get the size I like, I can carry on. The last thing I want to do before I cut the file is I want to make sure that I've attached all the letters so that they're a phrase instead of a bunch of random letters. I will also be cutting this in vinyl because I prefer to cut in vinyl than cardstock, so we'll need to make sure that we've got the paper set properly. Now we're ready to hit make it and go to the next screen. Before I cut my file, I want to make sure that I've optimized my paper usage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the items from different pages to get as many pieces per page as I can. I'm going to move this accent piece onto a different paper so that I can make it a different color so that my final design will pop. Now that the file is ready to cut, I'm going to select my Cricut and send it to cut and we're ready to start the fun. Quickly just removing my surplus vinyl so that we're ready for later. These are all of the vase pieces cut out. You'll notice I have five vase bases. I'm going to glue all of these pieces together, but I need to make sure that they're lined up correctly. If they're not, the holes won't match up, and you'll notice that the flowers won't go through. So you'll need to make sure that the pieces are lined up so that the holes are all in the same spot. After that, we need to glue the five base pieces together. We'll just need to make sure that we add a score line so that that helps us fold the base pieces later. Just using a ruler and a scoring stylus, pull a straight line through the base of each piece starting at the corner. Now we want to glue all the vase pieces together and we want to make sure that they're all lined up nicely and not in the reverse order. And we also have to glue the five base pieces together. Next, we glue the base to the vase. We want to make sure that the base is lined up at the bottom of the vase. Applying the glue and lining up the bottom of the vase, we're almost done. I like to hold all of my gluing projects under some heavy books to keep them flat. While we wait for the base and the vase to dry, 
I'm going to apply my words to the accent piece. Just quickly lining up the words and a quick press, we're almost ready to go. Now to glue the accent piece onto the vase. Now that the vase is done, it is ready for flowers. Simply pull the flower stem through the holes. You can do one flower per hole or you can do multiple flowers depending on how big the stem is. Once all of the flowers are in, you can tie the stems up at the back. Anything will do, an elastic or a zip tie will work. In this case, I'm going to use an extra stem that I have left over from the flowers. And that's it. Our phase is done.